Hey, what's up guys? It's Ivan. And in this video, I want to show you some of the best emails I've received that I've actually opened, read, and responded to. I just want to do this to show you as an educational content. Instead of just me telling you what an ideal email would look like, theoretically, I'm going to show you. Out of the thousands of emails that I've received the past seven years of me doing affiliate marketing, these are the ones that caught my attention that I responded to that I wanted to potentially do business with. If you haven't seen my previous video where I show you the worst emails I've received, make sure to check that video out because in that video, I show you emails that I just flat out ignore, emails that you, please, I beg you, do not send anybody because they will just be ignored and people will laugh at you, okay? So let's get into it. Let's look at this first email here with the headline, How's Rio de Janeiro? Now, here's the thing. When I got this email, I was in Rio de Janeiro. I was there for a few days and I posted a picture of it on Instagram. And this gentleman here took the effort of actually going up and looking up my Instagram and messaging me about the picture that I posted. Talk about a little extra effort. And that worked because when I first got this email, I don't think somebody's trying to sell me something. When I get this, you know, it, it applies to my life personally. And I say, wow, let me tell you my thought process when I saw this. I said, wow, is this my friend that's sending me this email? You know, is this somebody that I know that I missed? So I opened the email, which is very rare with these sales emails that I get. And then here it says, saw you living it up in Rio. Looks beautiful. How's that food? Okay. So he kind of goes salesy over here, right? Not my favorite part, but he got my attention because he did the extra effort. And that's very rare. In brief, we helped. And then here he goes on his script, which is fine, you know, but that gets me interested. If this guy was a copywriter or something, you know, I, I'd hire his copyright services. And actually here, that's what he does. He does VSL. So it looks like this guy knows what he's talking about because it worked on me. A lot of these emails saying like, let me help you with copywriting, but I ignore the email. That's not a copywriter I want, right? So you gotta do what you preach. Make sense? And then here I like, like I reply to him, Hey man, looks awesome. Um, and so this guy said, you know, here's the, the document, blah, blah, blah. So looks really cool. Um, just, just wanted to show you what grabs someone's attention. It's something that's very personal guys, make your emails personal. That's how they're going to stand out. Let's look at another good email question about working together. Now this one's straightforward. He's not telling me, Hey, let's work together. Let's get on a call. When are you free? Like what the hell, man? Why would I get on a call with you if I don't know you? Like, that's just a waste of time. You know, I get tens of emails like yours a week. Why would I get on a call with you? And like, do you imagine how busy my schedule would be if I get on a call with everybody I get an email from? No, who are you, right? So this guy took the more humble approach, question about working together. You know, he made it straightforward. He's not as salesy. He's not as suck up -ish. Like, man, love your content. Let me help you. Let's get on a call. No, who the fuck are you, you know? This guy's much more humble. He's more straight to the point. Hey man, my name's Eric. I run an agency. I want to discuss a possible joint venture. Okay, so cool. So at least I responded, right? Usually here I said, you know, to save us some time, let's like first tell me what you want. But I responded. I read this whole thing, which is very rare. Okay. So that's what I want to show you guys is if you want to, if you want to like get emails that people will read, sometimes be straightforward and don't be salesy. Don't be fishy. Don't be suck upish. I love your content. No. Just say, hey man, I'd like to work together. I think would be a good fit. And that gets my attention, okay? So another good example of emails that I would respond to, that I would read. Let's look at another one. Ooh, this one's really good. Look at this, found a typo in your about. By the way, notice how many good emails I got? I read through like the past few months. These are the only good emails I got, guys. If you send a good email, you're gonna be in the clear. People are gonna remember you. People are gonna love you. So I don't get many good emails at all. Found a typo in your about. Look at that. Hey man, found a typo, which there was a typo. So I, I've been telling you, right? Get me by my emotions. Touch my emotional string. That does it perfectly. Found a typo. Oh shit. You know, I don't want a typo on my professional site. And then better yet, look what he does. He shows my typo. As opposed to some of these people saying, hey, my thumbnails are freaking amazing. My SEO is amazing. Well, show me. You know, this guy takes the liberty of actually taking a picture and showing me where the typo is. Now, granted, this guy actually just wanted to show me the typo, but this guy could have easily, if he would have said, hey man, by the way, you know, I do this agency, I would have responded to him, I would have taught, I would have looked at his website and I would have considered him potentially if that's what I needed at the time, absolutely. 
because most of the time I'd ignore it, right? If you just come up to me with preaching your things and your, 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 your sales stuff, I'm not really interested, right? But this guy actually tried to help me. So I'm going to reciprocate the favor. I'm going to read. I'm going to talk to you, right? Because that's what you want, right? You want to talk to people. You want their responses. If somebody ignores you, that's the worst you can have. So yeah, so this was really good. Find what typo in you're about. Like that's freaking amazing. So look through somebody's, you know, website, um, whoever you want to reach out to, somebody's YouTube channel and point out some things. Hey man, like, you know, found a simple typo. Boom, that's going to get their emotions. Look at these. How is Rio de Janeiro? Boom, that pulls my emotional string because I say, oh shit, like, are you my friend? Did we, did we not see each other? That's what I, that's literally what I was thinking, guys, right? So these are the types of emails you want to send. Now, granted, this is a little clickbait, you know, because it has nothing to do with actually Rio, but got my attention. That's all you need, right? And it's not bad. I wasn't mad at him by saying, oh, turns out you just wanted to sell your stuff. No, I wasn't mad at him. It got my attention. It was good. You know, he did the extra effort and I appreciated it. So these are some of the good emails that really got my attention. Now, these are unfortunately the only ones I could find in the past few months, but let me show you some potential emails that with a small tweak could actually be really good. So happy Friday, Ivan, this one here. So this one's a little more personal, okay? Now the change that I would do here is I would maybe remove the capital letters right? Maybe just say like happy Friday with lowercase because when you're sending a message to a friend, you, you're not so formal, right? So it would have been like, hey man, happy Friday. Something like that, right? And that would have gotten more of my attention to read this. But then again, he goes into love your videos. I owe you a lot to make my first million. Wow, really? You made your first million with my content? I mean, that's cool if you did, but you know, it just, it, it seems a little much. Like really? You, like you, you, made, you made a whole million? Like with just with just a few videos, you know, seems a little seems a little weird. And then he's just sending me this this just seems fishy. You know, it doesn't seem real. Doesn't seem legitimate, right? That's the issue. So this seems again seems a little fake. I hate that. But with a small tweak to things like like hey man, happy Friday. You know, what are you up to? That would have got my attention. Would have got me to read. Without the suck upish stuff, I would have read more. So that's why this is potential. It's not super bad. It's on the right track, but could use some work. Let's look at another one. Okay. About your YouTube videos, SEO views and promotion. So the reason why I said this has potential is because this is indeed what I could use. I don't have many views on my videos. And if you look at a screenshot here, he posted, you know, he shows me this. Now the issue with this is that I am aware of how many views I have. You don't have to send me this. What I'm interested in is what you can do for me. So that's one of the issues with this is that title could be good because this is what I need. So this guy found my problem, right? He tried to solve it and he's not fishy. Like, hey man, love your stuff, you know? This guy gets straight to the point or more or less, you know? At least there's not as fake, as much fakeness here. But then he does this in the screenshot. So this is an error. It's like, I don't, like, I, I am aware of how many views I have, you know? Tell me what you can do for me. And then over here, this also doesn't make sense, you know? Uh, because he's saying here, these are some of the actionable things you can do, but then it says the title is too short, which it's not. It's almost the maximum YouTube limit. There are the tags are too short. It's not. I maximize all my tags to the fullest. There's the descriptions too short. Maybe I do have cards. I do have end screens. So some of these things are are off. They're wrong. They're just plain wrong. You know. And if this person would have actually like gone through to the end of the video, he would have seen that there is an end screen. You know. So. One of the issues with this email is that it's just wrong information. The other more obvious issue is that look at the writing, right? Look at the font, look at the, I mean, it grabs attention, but it looks unprofessional, right? So you could do a lot of bolding. That's good, I like it, easier to read, but don't do things like this, like this is, uh, you know, um, what do you call it? Bigger size font, right? This one, there's a line here. So it looks like this wasn't done with as much effort, okay? So in general, this could work. This could be a very good email if A, this gets formatted well, not like this, like it, like, like it was done in two seconds. And two, if the screenshots would actually make sense, this one is just plain wrong. And this one has no value to me. Like, what's the point of the screenshot? Show me what you can do, right? If they were to do that, this would be pretty interesting. This would be an interesting email. Now, one more potential good email I wanna show you is this one, your video's broken my heart. Okay, so I like this one to an extent, right? So 
how I would change this is instead of saying your videos broke my heart, I would say, how exactly did they break your heart? What did you learn or what did you not learn or what did you what did you get from it, right? Because then he goes on to say, I saw your video and that was really amazing. You're providing great content. And I mean, it's okay, but it's like, how did my videos break your heart then, you know? So I would, I would be a little more detailed here and this could catch my attention. If you tell me like, hey, I really learned how to do this in your video. I really, you know, I was really heartbroken when I did this, 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 something like that. So first of all, I would change the title to make it a little more personal and correct, of course, it's not broken my heart. Your videos broke my heart. And then two, I would actually say like how they broke your heart. What are you talking about? Cause he doesn't, right? He just says, I'm, I'm this person and I saw your video and it was really amazing. Okay, everybody tells me that, you know? And then just so they can sell me something, right? So that's what I would do with this one, but potentially pretty good. So guys, take a look at these. Instead of me telling you, here's what makes a good email, look at exactly what works. These are the emails that work. Check out the previous video to see the emails that just flat out don't work. If you guys enjoy this content, I do invite you to check out my YouTube channel at evonmana.com where I offer you a free 55 page affiliate marketing guide as well as access to my training courses which could take you to advanced in Google ads, Facebook ads, Microsoft ads as well as learn how to make money online. And if you guys have any comments or feedback about any of this, let me know what you think. Was I going too harsh? Was I going too easy? Am I the only one who thinks what I think? Let me know in the comments. Would love to hear your opinion. That is all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one.